assalamu alaikum grade 6 hopefully you are fine so we did our workbook so now we are going to do exercise of chapter number one okay as i told you we read out this chapter so hopefully you have read out this chapter again so now we are going to do its exercise exercise of chapter number one page number 14 it's super easy if you read out the chapter okay number one is multiple choice questions the three main areas of study in science are it means you have to tell about three areas which means you have to tell about the three branches of science so we have discussed which three branches biology chemistry and physics even we have discussed these three branches in detail so our second uh, MCQ is which area of science is the study of the living world around us biology chemistry physics none of these so the right answer will be biology as I told you in biology we are going to study about the different living things the world of different living things so biology will be the correct option number third is why should you wear safety goggles during practical science lessons we did safety measures we did this thing this portion laboratory safety in laboratory safety i told you about the goggles goggle means the glasses that we are supposed to use in the laboratory or we are used supposed to do in the sunlight so what is the purpose of wearing safety goggles b will be the correct options to pro protect your eyes from the damage okay which of these is a measurement of length again this is super easy what is the unit of the length centimeter cubic centimeter centiliter or uh, square centimeter so the correct option is centimeter okay what is the unit of length we are supposed to measure the things in centimeter so a will be the correct option and the next thing is the volume of an object can be found by multiplying its you are supposed to write simply the formula of volume what is the formula of volume to calculate the volume we are supposed to multiply its length with height with its breadth okay length the, the correct option will be C length by its breadth by its height so that's why the unit of volume is centimeter cube 1 centimeter plus 1 centimeter plus cent 1 centimeter which makes centimeter cube 3 centimeters okay and then here comes question number 2 true or false so these true or false are for your homework if you feel any difficulty while doing this you can read the chapter and if there will be difficulty then you can ask in the comment section and then please switch to page number 15 here comes question number 3 the diagram shows three different measuring cylinder scales okay we also did this portion in our workbook so again this is for your revision I am going to explain only a part the rest of two you are supposed to do in your homework okay mark 30 centimeter cube on diagram a okay you can see 30 centimeter cube 30 centimeter cube which means that you are supposed to measure the volume of the liquid centimeter cube is the unit to measure liquid so if my camera can focus so you can see 10 cent, uh, 0 centimeter and then 20 centimeter so the middle the difference between them uh, between 0 and 20 this line makes 10 centimeter and then we have 20 centimeter cube and 40 centimeter cube so it means the between 20 and 40 centimeter cube here comes 30 centimeter cube okay so you are supposed to mark 30 centimeter cube on diagram a this is your diagram a and you are supposed to mark like this 30 centimeter cube okay so in this way you are supposed to mark 25 centimeter cube 
and here you are supposed to mark 48 centimeter cube so this is for your homework first of all you have to divide the centimeters between 20 and 30 okay like this is 20 and this will be 21 22 23 24 25 up to so on and you are supposed to mark 25 centimeter cube this is super easy this is again for your homework and then here comes on question number four complete the table below again this is just for your revision this is for your homework you are supposed to find the missing things that are not given in the table like measurement length you are supposed to find the instrument you have to write the name of the instruments which is used to uh, measure the length so how can we measure the length with the help of tape measure or with the help of ruler okay and what will be the unit of the um, length meter okay meter will be the unit of the length and then how to write the symbol here you are supposed to write the symbol of the unit okay symbol of unit means you are supposed to write the unit is meter and then you will write the symbol of the meter like m centimeter kilometer you can write more than one unit so in this way you have to fill this chart okay and then here comes the last portion question number six okay in question number six you can see the table shows the hand span of some students hand span means hand span means this thing this is your hand span so in this table you can see hand span of students in centimeter centimeter again it means this will be the length of the palm of different students and here comes the number of students so you can see uh, hand span of students in centimeters 12 centimeters and number of students is zero it means zero students are zero students having with 12 uh, centimeters of length and then 13 one it means there are only there is only one student who whose hand span is 13 centimeter and then 14 centimeter how many students have hand span with 14 centimeters 12 or okay, uh, 2 so in this way you have to solve the now this thing this is our data i told you in science any information any information that you are going to collect is called data so now solve question number one present this present this data in the form of a bar chart So here comes a bar chart you can see if my phone can focus this so you can see the uh, bar chart the table shows the hand span of some students in this way you can uh, draw the uh, bar chart here comes the number of students and here comes the hand span in centimeter so with the help of this data you can easily draw this bar chart okay so you can see 12 student uh, 12 centimeters and number of students zero so 12 students and then the it will be zero which means that zero students and then 13 centimeters and number of students one so 13 and number of students one 14 and number of students two 13 uh, for 40 15 and the number of students will be 4 16 number of students 5 and then 17 and 18 17 and 18 is both are same it means the number of students are 6 okay 6 so this is the line for 6 and then 19 19 means number of students would be 7 and then 20 20 means number of students will be 10 and then 21 so number of students will be again you can see again 6 this line is for 6 and then 22 22 means 5 okay so this is the uh, in this way you can present your data in the form of bar chart okay so now uh, achha, okay our second part is what is the smallest hand span 
what is the smallest hand span so in this way you can find which is the small, smallest hand span it means the number of student if those hand span in which number of student is quite very lesser the number of student is the very on the least amount so zero zero is the least figure so uh, what is the smallest hand span 12 12 centimeter why 12 centimeter because no student is present in this span so this is the smallest hand span and then what is the most common hand span most common hand span means you have to find that uh, block you have to find that column in which the number of students have the uh, highest in rank so 0 1 2 3 4 6 in this 9 is the highest digit so it means 20 centimeter is the common hand span and then how many students are there in the sample sample means your area of studying so in this sample you are you are going to add all these number of students like 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to so on till 5 so in this way whenever you are going to add all these number of students you will get to know about how many students are there in the sample 49 students when you will add them so it will makes 49 students in this way you can draw this bar chart okay so i have a homework for you okay this is your homework i just uh, took two different unknown data and you are supposed to draw this as a bar chart marks of grade 6 subjects like in marks english like this you have to uh, represent the data of any uh, student in the bar chart so subject english marks 23 urdu 52 maths 61 science 43 sst 26 ict 12 islamiyat 6 so in this way now subjects are given and their marks are given so you have to uh, draw one thing vertically one data vertically and one data horizontally and in this way you are supposed to um, uh, locate their numbers and then you have to draw the margin line the, you are supposed to draw the bar chart according to this given data and question number two this is also a, uh, unknown data for you unseen data for you find out the population of the smart school so here comes two columns grade and number of students like in grade 1 there are 16 number of students in grade 2 there are 20 number of students in grade 3 there are 12 number of students and now what to do you are supposed to draw the bar chart like this here come here will come the number of students okay and here comes the uh, grade okay number of students is watching and then grade is watching so in this way you are supposed to draw the bar chart like this if 20 number of students in grade 1 so grade 1 will lead to the 20 up to 20 number okay so this is super easy you are supposed to solve this for your homework okay thank you Allah Hafiz